Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Tuesday, June 30th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. One of the things that separates savvy business owners from the crowd is their understanding of people. The smart ones know that you don't hire great employees, you create them. But when you're the CEO of your own one-man enterprise the way Sam Pierce is, Building up the talents of your staff is a full-time gig. According to Sam right now, he's still in the full-time off-season mode, but as his weight's gone up, he's still getting leaner, which has been a pleasant surprise. With so many things still up in the air right now, it doesn't look like Sam and his team have a show lined up at any point in the near future. But if he does decide to jump into something later in the season, keep your eyes on him as a potential game changer. One of the biggest keys to career and personal growth is avoiding the complacency trap. Human beings have a natural tendency to take their foot off the gas after they reach certain milestone moments, and learning to fight off that urge is a constant struggle no matter what level you're at, unless your name is Hassan Mustafa. Somehow in the midst of having his entire plan for the season turned upside down, Hassan still looks like he's light years ahead of where he was last season. It's like he's got anti-complacency syndrome. And once he finishes fine-tuning some of the details, he could be in a position to make a major surge between now and December. You know how they say you never forget how to ride a bike? Well, some people never forget how to chase the pump. And if you don't believe me, all you have to do is ask Kareth Bajo. It hasn't even been two weeks since Kareth's been able to start getting back into his normal training regimen. And you could already see his body responding like he's someone that's done this a million times before. At this point in his career, Kareth's been training for so long that it almost comes as second nature, which is a huge part of why making the transition back has been so seamless. So if he works himself back into mid-season form sooner than later, there's a definite possibility that he could sneak in to steal a last minute Olympia qualification. We've talked about how this year's Olympia is already the most decorated of all time on paper. And that was before we knew there was a potential two-time champ, particularly Aaron Stern, that was gonna be back in the mix. After almost six full years in retirement, it looks like Aaron's decided to make a comeback to an IFBB stage only this time as a bikini competitor. A few days ago, Erin posted an official progress photo on her Instagram, writing in the caption that she was excited to be six weeks out from making her bikini debut, not figure. That being said, six weeks out would put her on track to compete at the Tampa Pro, which adds a whole other layer to a show that's already stacked. Between Erin, Adela Garcia, and Flex Lewis, we can have three former Olympia champs competing as underdogs this year, which is crazy to think about. And if that doesn't make 2020 the craziest year of all time, well, I don't know what is. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.